Ladies and gentlemen, business owners, my name is Daryl Guberman. I'm the CEO of Guberman PMC LLC, a quality consulting firm here in Connecticut. Uh, we've been in business now for 13 years um, with a quality consultation and also ISO certification and all derivatives. We've been involved with quality for 40 years. Um, my background is aerospace, medical implants, medical materials, printing and plastic distribution, where we dealt with every industry under the sun. This video today is Boeing needs to take back complete control of their quality. And the problem is, is they relied on a certification from their suppliers as a testament to quality. You cannot make this up. So let me give you a for instance, okay? And by the way, ANSI, the American National Standards Institute and the American National Crediting Board are underwriters. That means they take full legal responsibility for any fault within not only the system, but the products that are produced within that system. They're gonna probably poo-poo that. They're very much in bed with, I hate to say it, the American Bar Association, please forgive me, and the Department of Justice, FBI. Uh, the Department of Justice, FBI, they all sit on ANSI's board, so they are like made out of Teflon. Um, and. Uh, I offer my services to any of those people who got injured in Alaska Air and also Ethiopian and Malaysian Air or anything else that will happen down line, downstream. We are considered a quality expert in the industry. We have over 40 plus years, as I've said, med you know, aerospace, medical implants, medical materials, printing and plastic distribution. On this supplier, um, <laughs> on this supplier uh, bulletin that they put out in 2002, it basically says this. It says an on-site Boeing survey, which means audit of suppliers quality system if need be. Our preference is to deal with proven suppliers, which are ANSI ANAB accredited, okay, because what they do is they call that on their supplier portal. You'll also find out that Boeing sits on ANSI ANAB, so it's a big, big old boys club. So anyway, our preference is to deal with proven suppliers with excellent quality performance and not have to do on-site quality system surveys. I'm going to say this emphatically, what that means, business owners, to make it simple, okay? For those novices that are out there, for people who are just tuning this and watching it, I'm gonna tell you what it means. It means your supplier who's supplying this product into Boeing sends them an AS9100 accredited by ANSI ANAB certificate they put it in their file, they check it off, and they say, send us these parts, send it. And we don't have to send in a Boeing inspector to look at your system, to see that you're not making it out of your garage, to see maybe you might have contamination in the system. Nobody knows. They take a piece of paper, and they've been doing that for 22 years, since 2002. To compound these issues, business owners, you have the factor that Boeing sits on ANSI's board, right over by their accreditation body, ANAP, and seven different registrars that sit on ANSI's board. I told you that ANSI, ANAP are underwriters, and this is the full proof. We have a lot more than this, but I like this contract because it's in 2018 when ANSI and ANAP were being watched over by Communist China by their membership on the IF, International Accreditation Form. I've gone into that. You'll find the rest of the data down below the video on that. But here they are, underwriters. They are underwriters for the IAF. It says it right here. That means this is a legal document. So for Boeing to have an issue with products that may be coming out of Sparrow Aerosystems or anybody else, UKAS, Accredia, the accreditation bodies that sit on the IAF, are they're being protected and equivalent to an ANSI ANAB accreditation, which means if it fails, if you have a system failure at one of their suppliers, okay, at one of Boeing's suppliers, you're, the attorneys have to go after ANSI ANAB as well. <sighs> Absolutely, I have all the documentation. I couldn't go into it more so because it's gonna be an hour video. This stuff has taken over 40 years to metastasize with quality certification. It's taken only 20 years for a door to pop off Boeing, for Ethiopian and Malaysian Air to crash. And you know something? There's a problem that Boeing got caught fudging documentation. They most recently got caught fudging documentation. And you cannot make this up, and I do not make this up because you know, the reason why we wanted to assist with our quality certification is because we already knew ANSI ANAP. We knew what is going on. And here, if you don't believe me, here are articles. And these articles are entrapped in an article that's going to be the very first one on the description. 
about me giving a featured article concerning uh, all CEOs on air, you know, that only or actually that lead the airlines like United and American Airlines, etc., Lion Air, all that other stuff that we are telling them to be careful because Boeing fudge documentation along with their steel supplier, Kobe Steel, on top of it most recently in their composite bow Bell Boeing composite facility, I think it's in Pennsylvania, they get fined $8.1 million because they did not do temper, they did not take down data, again, fudging documentation from 2007 to 2018. Okay, this stuff will be down in the description. If you can't find it, please call me, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L-T-Q-R-S at yahoo.com. And they they fudge documentation, so the DOJ came in and and find them. But the only problem is, is DOJ sits on ANSI, right over by the FAA, right over by Boeing, and how about how about Lockheed? Just as a sidebar, after their eight hundred and first F thirty five, they still have escapes, meaning they still have quality issues. So this video is about this video is is about Boeing needs to take back complete control of their quality, and QA expert Daryl Guberman knows how to do it. And I mean that wholeheartedly. We sent our CV to David Calhoun. We've contacted some of Boeing's senior management. We're waiting for them. I like to do things in a very orderly manner. You just can't sit on your laurels in a situation like this or your company stock gonna go right in the shitter. So. Kindly call me, 203-556-1493 or Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L, T-Q-R-S at yahoo.com. The rest of the data will be down below in the description. And remember this and remember it well. The truth will set you free, but not until it is finished with you by David Foster Wallace and from Thomas Paine. And I hope this isn't the management style that they have at Boeing. But it is impossible to comprehend the moral mischief, if I may so express it, that mental lying has produced in our society when a man or woman has so far corrupted and prostituted the chastity of their mind as to subscribe their professional beliefs to things they do not believe. They have prepared themselves a commission for every other crime. And you know, it's a terrible thing. Uh, you know, I cut my teeth on aerospace. I enjoyed what I did. I can still remember the process specs and bond controls. Doing it to Boeing, helping them get out of a hole. That's what we want to do. Mr. Kirkland Donald, I think he's a Navy guy. I don't know, somebody probably picked him from the board to put him where he is. But you know something? You need a good team and we can do it. I look forward to hearing from you.